UW Hardland show, Listening Land, know that uh, Breakfast for Children is a popular program, sometimes supported by the government in schools throughout the country. But there was a time it didn't happen, and it was the Black Panther Party that initiated that. That's, That's true, right. and, and what makes our film what makes our film festival even more important is that one of the more critical issues that our community and I guess the world community is faced with uh, today is uh, food sovereignty and just being able to look at it as a real concern as it relates to violence, you know, and Better Boys Foundation uh, gave the Black Panther Party the opportunity to start the first free breakfast program in the state of Illinois and today we continue in that legacy just in terms of heightening the contradictions uh, that exist and Mary you can um, perhaps be more elaborative in terms of what we're going to be doing this week to don't well, worry, he's, don't he's, worry. He's, we'll ask we're, we were going to get to that, no, Billy. You know, this this is all I do. This is what I do. This is all I do. Was your, was your active, uh, your time with the Panthers uh, something that led to you uh, end up getting a job at the Better Boys Foundation? Well, I went up Is that there. your neighborhood? That's my neighborhood, and, and would nobody else hire me, you know, so uh, <laughs> I went there, and they felt sorry for me. And uh, I had to open a restaurant after those days. <laughs> In order to, you know, have a job. Good food here, too. Come on down. Come on down. <laughs> um, Mary, how is it that uh, you all got in the film uh, series business? You, this is not the first... Um, no, last summer I got to sit around there in the heat and talk about American Revolution, too. And what does Sundown Gray. in K-Town refer to? Let's, that's the title of the film festival. So what's Sundown in K-Town? Uh, well, sundown refers to the time of day that we screen the movies. We screen at sundown in our outside courtyard. So we start about 8.15, and K-Town is the nickname um, for part of our neighborhood in North Lawndale. And we just thought sundown in K-Town was nice. kind of catchy. Very cool. So, um, but we have a filmmaking program with our young people at BBF. Um, and so part of our goal is to provide opportunities for kids to take it beyond just the regular after-school context and for them to really have an opportunity to gain a level of cultural capital through their work with us and so they are learning how to make real films use professional editing equipment and the kids themselves are really the hosts for the film festival and we screen their youth made films alongside feature-length films um, um, we have a really big uh, lineup of films for this next week. I think yes. starting is it Monday night or Tuesday? Tuesday night. It starts Tuesday night and uh, runs through Friday. And the films are food oriented. And you have panels of uh, people involved, uh, progressive ways of dealing with food, shortage of food, kind of food, kind of food. Uh, why don't you tell us a little bit about some of the films and people who are going to show up? Sure. Yeah, we chose. Um Food issues for the subject of our film festival this year, which I will note we also put on in partnership with Facets and Milo, who's been an awesome uh, partner to us. Right. Um, but food issues are really, really are important ones in the community where we work in North Lawndale. I also have an urban gardening program, so, um, so we've been very interested in food issues in terms of food access. Um, uh, food desert, which North Lawndale is one of Chicago's five identified food desert communities. Um, so we've been really active and involved in um, food issues since launching our gardening program two years ago. Uh, so yeah, we have a lineup of four feature films and a series of shorts, including shorts made by our kids in Film Lab, which is our film program. So we're kicking it off on the first night on Tuesday with a film feature length called Lunchline, which is about issues of the school food program program, um, which a number, you know, a number of districts throughout the country are considering the elimination of school food programs, right. which would certainly be uh, a huge issue for our kids, many of whom, um, for them, the lunch they get at school every day is their primary meal. Um, so we're, we're kicking off with that film, then we're moving on to a film called A Place at the Table, which has to do with access to fresh, fresh food and good nutrition in inner city communities and among the poor. Um, Thursday we're doing 
we're showing a film called Urban Roots, which is about the urban gardening and urban farming phenom. Um, and that film is actually centered in Detroit, but it has a lot of... Um, you know, they got a lot going on up there. A lot going on. And then we're ending with a, food call, a film called Soul Food Junkies, which is about um, soul food and about soul food and uh, health and nutrition um, in terms of African-American food ways. When we, when we first opened the Heartland, the only other health food restaurant, full, full Til seven days, full tilt boogie restaurant was Soul Food Vegetarian. Soul Vegetarian. Right, right. Yeah, and... Uh, and I, they're still I, around. Yes. Yeah. Um, yeah. And uh, so uh, this, is a, this is a great collaboration. Not only are you working with uh, Facets, and also Siskel, are they helpful at all? The Cisco Center? Oh yeah, Did they're not involved immediately in this, well. but um, I have actually one of my college kids from BBF who's doing an internship there this summer. So Cartemquin. Cartemquin's been an awesome partner right. as well. well. Well, let me ask the two of you. Uh, so the film festival is starts at 8:15 every night at the Better Boys Foundation in K Town. 15th and 1512 South Pulaski and uh, so that's going to be happening with a panel and I participated last year and I think I'm supposed to do it this year you are. whether I can get a ride or not uh, with the Zai thing we'll see but what else do you guys do over there Billy you are the uh, the youth director so do you got a weight room? Do you uh, deal with kids who are in gangs? What do you do as a, the youth director? Well, I focus. Do you have about two hours, Michael? Well, we can't. No, no, I'm, real quick, I'm real quick. Well, our, our focus is on providing a safe uh, environment and focusing on uh, academic enhancement. And, and the primary way that we do that is through our apprenticeship programs. And uh, Youth violence is a critical uh, issue. You know, the uh, gun violence that is associated, you know, uh, with our young people a lot of times is uh, definitely one of our focal points, you know. Um, it's a sad thing to comment on, but at, at the rate that, that uh, our community is going right now, you know, the death rate and the violence is going to continue. And there are a lot of different ways to look at the causations of that that I don't have time to go into, right. but I, I'm blaming climate control. You're blaming climate control? Yes, I am. You mean climate change? No, climate control. See, they control the climate <laughs> to induce the violence. Uh -huh. They make it real hot in the summertime. <laughs> <laughs> And you know, with the advent of this 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 whole new drug situation out here, you know, the ineptitude of our public school system, you know, the closing of schools, yeah, all of this contribute to that aspect, I think. Yeah, that, there's an awful lot we should ask you guys, but uh, we. Well, we uh, we only have an guess. hour, and we schedule a lot of interesting yeah. people, mm -hmm. so we give you little so little we'll, tastes of some stuff. I would really, and then we invite people back. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> well, we know I where would, you are. We know where you are. I would encourage people to go to the Better Boys Foundation website, um, which is obvious, easy to find, Better Boys Foundation in Chicago, because your programming is very impressive. Your your staffing and the fact that the kids lead you through the website is pretty cool, way cool. Is it the only Better Boys? foundation outfit in the city or are there are others there no we're just one location just one. Okay. at 15th and Pulaski and I will also note that we are not just boys uh, that was thank the you, it was you, originally you, boys <laughs> Yeah, in we, 61, we, and we yeah. need to think about a name change, but we have plenty of awesome girls along 80 the way. 80% of our participants are female. Okay. Uh, more like girls, 60. But girls know a good 80. thing when they see it. <laughs> girls generally show up in droves for, for the good stuff once they're allowed. Yeah. Well, um, so this, this uh, film festival is at Sundown in K-Town Film Festival, August 6th through 9th. Um, is, is something that y'all should find your way to the west side to see. Yes. I mean, it's, it's a really good invitation that you extend all of us in the city to get us to the west side. Come I on extend down. it. It's completely free and well, open to the public. So. And is there parking available there? Lots of parking. Two parking lots. Okay. 
cool. And I'm going to go on Wednesday if I can get a ride, so maybe you'll want to go. We'll come and pick oh, you up in our BBF bus. I'm not driving so. yet. I think we should make our arrangements on the radio, if at all possible. Okay. <laughs> right. yeah. Right. Thank you, Mike. Oh, yeah. Mary. Thank, you, Katie. Thank you, folks, for coming on. And uh, stick around after the show. We'll talk a little bit more. Yeah, we'll and it's some, great to see you, and we'll see you again bacon this and week. Grits. Thank you. Right on. Mary Visconti <laughs> great work, you two. and uh, Lamar great work. Billy Brooks. Okay, we're going to take a short a break. We're going to listen to a song uh, many of you know called Dancing in the Streets. I've been reading a book by uh, Mark Kurlansky. He wrote Cod. He wrote Salt, a number of books. He was a guest on the show. And he has a beautiful book out called Ready for a Brand New Day. Dance or ready for a brand new yeah okay. dance I think it is, okay. and uh, it's a great book about civil rights, technology, music, etc. We're going to hear a little bit now. And we're going to bring up the wonderful part.